Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the Calgary Barbell YouTube channel. We are here to review the Bells of Steel SS3 Safety Squat Bar. So today I'm going to put it through its paces with a little bit of a workout, give you some of my first impressions and see how it holds up through uh, a little bit of lifting. All right, so before we get into uh, my first impressions of the bar, I wanna run all of y'all through some of the specs. Uh, and first off, and arguably most important for a lot of people is gonna be the price. This bar comes in at $349.99 Canadian. Um, if you live in Calgary by chance, uh, I think you can go pick this up and that saves you all of the shipping costs, which is substantial. And we actually compared that to the Rogue Safety Squat Bar, which comes in at 490 Canadian plus shipping, and the Elite FCS Bar, the, the uh, SS Yoke Bar, which comes in at 425 US plus shipping. Um, and I, in my experience, shipping with Elite FTS, if you're in Canada, can be a really big pain in the ass. Um, so in terms of the other specs of this bar specifically, the shaft, uh, is 32 millimeters. The length of the bar, although not listed specifically in this, uh, seems to fit really well in this full power rack. Um, the camber is actually sat outside of the J-cups, um, so there were no issues with racking and re-racking. Ours here is in black zinc. The sleeves are in uh, white zinc, and it does have fully rotating bushings on the sleeves, which is great. Uh, weight capacity is rated at 1,200 pounds and the weight of the bar itself without the handles is 47 and a half pounds. Now, the, another feature of this bar is obviously these here uh, twist out and you can replace them with other handles. These handles, the stock normal SSB handles are 2.5 pounds, which puts the bar at 50 pounds as is. Um, the chain handles are four pounds and the spider bar handles are six pounds. So you'd have to, you know, slightly adjust for those. I found with the handles, um, they weren't my favorite. Um, these stock handles, great, but the chain handles and spider handles, I don't know. I've just never really used those bars anyways, but having the handles and having that sort of modularity to it or, or being able to change the handles, I think is a, is a nifty and neat feature. Now, in terms of my impressions of the bar, uh, I took it for a very moderate spin today. I did two sets of 10 at 167 and a half kilos or 370 pounds. Now, the pad was probably the first thing that I noticed. It is very thick, it's very stiff. And to me, that is a sign that hopefully this will last quite a while. Um, it reminds me a lot of the SS Yoke Bar, the Elite FTS Bar, which I think is a lot of people's favorite in terms of even just specifically the padding. Um, when compared to the Rogue Bar, which I've also used extensively, the Rogue Bar, the padding is just bad. Um, it is really thin, it wears out really fast, and then basically you have the bare bar into the back of your neck, which is super uncomfortable. I found this really easy to kind of uh, uh, get in a good spot on the shoulders because of the padding, and the padding didn't really deform too much with, I mean, it's sub 200 kilos still, but I think that's a good indication that this bar will probably hold up pretty damn well. Um, in terms of the feel of the bar and the camber, how far that puts the weight out in front of you, it felt pretty much in line with any SSB that I've used before. It didn't feel especially out front like a front squat. Um, it felt more like sort of in that high bar range. It felt uh, really good, able to stay uh, relatively upright and, and sort of get that high bar or front squat feel. And um, yeah, overall, just really happy with the bar. All right, so just for the sake of transparency, I did want to mention we did not pay for this bar. This was given to us by Bells of Steel for the purpose of checking out and reviewing for the channel. Um, I can confidently say that after having used this, I would spend my money on it. I would buy this bar if I was in the market for an SSB and I'm very happy to have this bar now. Um, so yeah, I, I would put whatever that's worth kind of stamp of approval on it. Um, that is gonna be it for the review. If you have any further questions or wanna know more about the bar, go ahead and leave it in the comments below and we'll be happy to answer those. If I have any other um, things that I come across or any other things that I wanna add to this video, I'll put it in a pinned comment or we'll make an update video as I get more and more use with this bar. But first impressions are very, very good. And honestly, the only L on this bar was the fact that it's a little bit mislabeled there. 
All right, that's gonna be it for us today. So thanks for tuning in and stay tuned to the channel. We got a lot more fun and cool stuff coming up. We'll see you in the next one.